In this tutorial, I will show some tips and tricks for exporting model from SketchUp to VLOOX Daylight Visualizer for simulation of daylight. VLOOX can import different kind of file formats like OBJ, SketchUp models, AutoCAD, the WG models, or DXF. There is a little bit difference between just saving the model as a SketchUp model or exporting as a AutoCAD drawing. Depending on what kind of strategy you have used for modeling inside SketchUp, you should choose either the SketchUp or the DWG exporting. If you have assigned material for all your model for the different surfaces like glazing, ceiling, floors, walls and ground, then you can use the SketchUp native file format, saving your model and importing that into Daylight Visualizer. If not, you should assign materials because when you import the model inside VLOOX, you need to specify the different material for different surfaces to get an accurate simulation. If you haven't assigned any materials, you don't have the option of giving the different surfaces different materials inside VLOOX. The other method is modeling your model with layers, as I have done here in this case. So each object or surface, so to say, have different layers. And to show uh, some of the layers and how I have structured it, I'll zoom a little bit in on the model. I have layers for the ceilings that you can see in this view. I have layers for the floor, glaze, and the mullions, and the roof, and the walls, and the vegetation, uh, like the trees. And then I have a layer for the context, and a layer for some form objects. To show it, here I can turn off the different layers, and you'll see the model disappear little by little. And this is depending on what kind of strategies you are used to model with inside the SketchUp. To show how the different surface import is inside VLOOX, I will show this in another video, how to import it. The model I have used in this example is the SketchUp model. And as we can see here at the elements, we have five elements groups. And each of these elements group, I can assign material. So as you can see, it's quite limited how the option is to assign materials with this SketchUp model. Where I only have used the material assignment method. On the right here, I have the DWG export model. And as we can see here, I have all the different layers from my SketchUp model imported into VLOOX. And in the other case, where I just imported the SketchUp model, I have less elements or surface divisions than in the layer model. To summarize, if you're using the SketchUp method, you should give the different surface different materials in relation to the, their function. For example, like wall, roofs, ceilings, floors, glaze, trees, etc. And I will show in more detail how to import and prepare your model for simulation inside VLOOX Daylight Visualizer.